At this point, you may now be ready to pull your hair out. We've covered an awful lot and we still haven't finished explaining the ins and outs of your video ad campaign or all the various different options. You have to think about AdWords, YouTube, account settings, advert types, destinations, bidding and much more, all of which is getting pretty complicated. And now we're going to hit you with the advanced techniques which range from more advanced targeting to thumbnail creation and to ideal video length. And that's before we've even touched on the best practices for making stunning videos with high production values. Now, don't let all this scare you. It sounds like an awful lot, but once you get stuck in and try it for yourself, you should find that it's actually surprisingly self-explanatory. The first and main tip to begin with is just to dive in and start playing around with the different features. You know enough now to do that. Set a low budget and experiment with driving some traffic to your brand. Once you've done that, make yourself a strong cup of coffee and head back here for some more advanced techniques that you can use to squeeze a bit more profit and performance out of your ad campaign. When choosing your video ad, one of the most important factors to consider is how long you want to make it. The general consensus here is that shorter tends to be better. Remember that you pay for a full view if your visitors last over 30 seconds, so there's no benefit in trying to make your videos tiresomely long. Getting viewers to watch to the end of your video will give you the best chance of engaging and making an impression that leads to a sale. And statistics regularly show that shorter videos stand a better chance of being watched through to the end. Another consideration is that longer videos tend to cost you more. Now, this might come as something of a surprise seeing as your views are supposed to be calibrated via bidding, but it all has to do with a new feature, Google's quality measure. You see, Google doesn't want advertisers to be able to ruin its search engine or video service by creating spammy videos that are poorly made and promote low quality products, but they don't have time to manually vet every advert that gets uploaded. As such, the best strategy that Google has for ensuring some level of quality is to use an algorithm that attempts to gauge how good the content of your page is. To do this, it uses something called a quality measure, which basically awards better quality content. This means that you'll be rewarded with more views and lower CPV if your videos get watched all the way through, and you'll also be rewarded for shorter videos. There's nowhere in the official documentation where this is explicitly stated. However, many prominent digital marketers have run experiments to test how much YouTube ads cost at different lengths, and the results have repeatedly demonstrated that longer videos cost more. Then again, there are still some arguments in favour of longer videos. One is that longer videos might still prevent people from watching to the 30 second mark and thus get you some free brand awareness. And this is a key point to bear in mind. Even if someone skips your video, you can still show your branding, so put that right at the start. Think about it. If an ad starts playing and you notice that it's 20 minutes long, then you may be more inclined to hit skip, even if you otherwise would have given it a chance. If your objective is to gain a little brand visibility and you're not bothered about direct conversions, then this can be a smart and effective strategy. Another consideration is that you can use a longer video to quickly develop more trust and engagement and to demonstrate real value. In other words, rather than relying on the viewer finding your page and looking through your content, you can hit them right away with a big definitive video explaining a topic or providing stellar entertainment that wouldn't fit into a shorter video. Again, some of this will come down to experimentation and tweaking. Try different lengths and look at your metrics to see which videos are getting watched all the way through, which are getting clicks, and which are generally offering the best ROI. As mentioned earlier, it's possible to link in-search ads to any page on your website, such as a landing page or a link, by using captions. You can also do this with the other videos on your channel, and this is a great way to drive more traffic to your sales pages and increase profits. It also makes a lot of sense from a long-term content marketing perspective. 
In other words, you can use video ads to promote your channel and gain subscriptions, then encourage people to buy from you in your regular videos after they've had a chance to familiarize themselves with your brand and the kind of value that you're capable of delivering on a consistent basis. To do this, you need to first associate your website with your YouTube account. Now, before you do this, you won't be able to link to it, and this means you also can't link to other sites, such as using direct affiliate links. To link your YouTube account to your website, you need to first verify your account. So what you have to do is sign in and then come here to youtube.com forward slash verify. And it's a two-step process. What they'll do, you select your country from the uh, drop-down menu. And then you need to decide how they're going to send you a verification code. They can either call you on the phone with an automated voice message or they can text you the verification code as an SMS message. It is up to you, but you do have to do this by phone in most countries. So what happens then is you decide how you want to be verified and then they will send you the verification code which you enter into the website on the uh, 2 of 2 page here. You also need to ensure that your account is in good standing, and that means that you mustn't have breached any of YouTube's terms and conditions, which relates in particular to the use of copyrighted footage or audio. And you can find that out by going to youtube.com forward slash features once you've signed into your account. And you can see here that my account is in good standing. Okay, next thing you want to do is come over here to the left-hand side and click on the Advanced tab under Channel. And then do a page down on your computer's keyboard if you're using a PC. And then you want to look for this section here where it says Associated Websites. And you can then add the URL in here and click Add. And what will happen once you've entered that in is you'll get a, a flag here saying Pending. And it'll also be another box to say Verify. What you need to do then is click on Verify and you'll be taken to the Search Console. And here again, you need to make sure that you're logged in with the same Google account. And you'll need to follow further instructions to add your site to the Search Console. You'll then be asked to choose a verification method, which in most cases will mean simply adding a snippet of code to your pages that Google can subsequently detect. Once the verification is complete, the status here will go from pending to success, and you can then use an annotation to take your visitors to anywhere on your URL. A few notes here. First of all, note, when a viewer clicks on your annotation, playback will stop and this will impact your watch time metrics. Note too, if you do want to link to another destination, you can always put the link in your video description, which will appear underneath the video. This means you could, in theory, link straight to an affiliate product, and you can even mention in the video that the link is down below to draw attention to it. You know, there are tons of options here. 